I'm going to release my tractor and my trailer brake. Before you do this, make sure you shock your wheels, right? Make sure you, you park on a flat surface as best as you can and make sure you shock your wheel before you release your tractor and your trailer brake. All right, so trailer in, tractor in. Now we're gonna go back outside. All right, so we're gonna listen again. Nothing, nothing here. So go back on the trailer. You hear that, guys? You hear that? We have an air leak. It's not coming from these two. Let's go in the back here. It's coming from this one. It's coming from this. There's a hole right on the bottom. I'm trying to see. A lot of time when you, because these have some holes, a lot of time when you put your hand over these holes, sometimes the air will change and you'll know that, yep, it's leaking from, oh, right here. Yep, it's changing over here. Yeah, you hear that? And that's not all guys, there's more. Hold on. But I just wanted to show you, this one is leaking right at the band. All right, so let's, let's keep on inspecting. We already did the other side, let's go up here. This is very important guys. This tragedy right here will let you find your air leaks. Now, this one is a little bit. All right, this one is leaking too, guys. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but because I'm at a truck stop and there's trucks passing, so they're making noise, so I don't know if you can pick up this noise here. But this one is leaking as well. You listen real good guys you can hear this one leaking all right so yeah so those two areas is the only place I found that's leaking so yeah guys that's how you check whenever you want to find out if you have an air leak that's the best way to check make sure you release your brakes and make sure you shock your wheels. If you do not release your brakes, it's gonna be harder for you to detect that you have an air leak because you have to release your brakes so you can send the air through the system. And that's the way, the only way you're gonna um, realize that you indeed have an air leak because, you know, when we're doing regular inspections, your brakes is not released, your brakes is set, right? And you're just doing a walk around, you're checking the, um, the tires, you're checking your lights, you know, make sure nothing is not dragging, no drips under the truck. And that's about it. That's how we do our pre-trip and, and post-trip inspection. We don't normally release the brakes and check for air that way. But doing that, guys, is going to definitely let you know if you have an air leak or not. Anyway, guys, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next video.